Hello, I'm Leyla Karatay. In this demonstration, I will be showing you how to use ChatGPT in your writing classes. To do that, I will be using my free account on the OpenAI website. Some teachers use ChatGPT to generate texts for their students, but others use it to support students writing in English too. In this module, you will learn how to use it for pre-writing and post-writing activities in your classes. Let's start with a pre-writing activity. One way ChatGPT can help students in pre-writing activities is as a tool for brainstorming ideas to write about. Let's say you have created an assignment that requires your students to write a compare and contrast essay about the information age. In this case, you can ask your students to type in a prompt like, give me some ideas about the advantages and disadvantages of living in an information age. Let's try this out. I have already typed the prompt here in the prompt box. Then I will click here. As you see, ChatGPT is generating responses that could inspire the students' own ideas for their essays. Let's take a close look at this. Here, ChatGPT already organized the ideas under the two categories. For advantages, we have access to information, improved communication, and increased efficiency. As for the disadvantages, we have information overload, social isolation, and decreased privacy. Your students can also type more to get more ideas about the topic. You can then encourage your students to review those ideas and select the ones they feel confident in writing about. Moving on to post-writing activities, students can share their writing with ChatGPT to get feedback that can be useful for revision. For example, you could have students share the essay they have written about the information age. ChatGPT could then provide feedback on the clarity and coherence of their writing and suggest areas for improvement. Let's try one. I am typing, give me some feedback on the following essay. And then copying and pasting this sample student essay on the topic I just showed you. Now I got some detailed feedback on my essay. Let me read the introduction first. The essay could benefit from a clear introduction that establishes the topic and the thesis. The first sentence briefly mentions the topic, but it would be helpful to have a more specific thesis statement that lays out the main points of the essay. Let's see what those areas are. The essay could be more organized. The examples used in the essay could be more specific and detailed. The essay could benefit from additional evidence. Finally, the essay will benefit from a conclusion that summarizes the main points. ChatGPT provides detailed information for each of these areas. This can help students identify areas where they need to revise their writing and improve their skills. Remember, you can always get more help from ChatGPT by asking the right questions and follow-up questions. In both the pre-writing and post-writing, we ask ChatGPT about things that it is good at brainstorming and evaluating writing. We never ask it for factual information about the world because it may give incorrect responses. I hope these examples have given you some ideas on how to use ChatGPT in your teaching practices.